Please, you can take your seat. Okay. My case is different. Swala langu ni tofauti na la kwangu pia kwa sababu nimekombolewa na Bwana na ni mtoto wa Kiagano kinachoathiri wengine hakiruhusiwi kuniathiri mimi. Congratulations. Hongera. You know in this church katika kanisa hili we pass through many tests and exams. Watu napitia mitihani mingi na majaribio. We pass all of them successfully. Na huwa tunafaulu yote vizuri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every month we have exam. Kila mwezi tuna mtihani. You will not fail any in Jesus name. Hautashindwa hata mmoja katika jina la Yesu. The word of God from God's servant said. Neno wa Mungu kutoka kwa mtumishi wa Mungu anasema. According to the prophecy. Sasana unabi. As revealed to him by the Lord. Kama aliyofunuliwa na Bwana. Every month we will open a new chapter in our lives. Nasema kila mwezi utafunua ukurasa mpya kwenye maisha yetu. God will visit us spectacularly. Mungu atatutembelea kwa namna ya tofauti. None of us will be victim of shame and reproach again. Hakuna hata mmoja wetu atakayeona aibu na fedhia tena. If you believe you will shout aloud amen. amen. So I believe by the visitation in this service. Kwa naamini kwa kutembelewa katika ibada ya leo. The empowerment to take charge of your 2017. Uweza kuweza kumiliki katika mwaka 2017. Shall be released unto you in Jesus name. Utaachiliwa kwako katika jina la Yesu. That shall be unusual release of power for everyone of us. Utakuwa na mwachilio wa nguvu usiyo wa kawaida kwa kila mmoja wetu. You never return empty handed. Hatutarudi mikono mitupu. Hear me shout amen. Paza amen. So we have a prophetic focus that says prayer and fasting empowers tunalo tamko la kinabili nalosema maombi na kufunga hutia nguvu au huwezesha andiko nanga isaya 58 mstari wa 6 mpaka wa 14 maombi na kufunga hutia nguvu au huwezesha gateways to operating in different world ah uh, tamko uh, kichwa chetu cha somo kinasema malango ya kuingia katika ulimwengu gateways to operating in different world Kuti, kuingia au kutendea kazi katika ulimwengu tofauti tofauti and god want you and i to operate in different world mungu anataka mimi na wewe tutendee katika ulimwengu tofauti tofauti a different world that does not know what people are suffering ulimwengu tofauti ambao haujui kitu kile ambacho watu wanateseka nayo does not know ache or pain huko hakuna magonjo wala maumivu It doesn't feel any heat. Hakuna joto. It's not associated with darkness. Hakuna giza. No poverty, no scarcity. Hakuna umaskini wala uhaba. God is already making it manifest in our lives. Mungu anafanya hilo lidhihirike kwenye maisha yetu. Beginning from today. Kuanzia leo. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. It is what God has prepared for us to live in. Ni kile ambacho Mungu ameandaa sisi tuweze kuishi huko. Our understanding that helps us to speedily Ushad, to be ushered into it. Na ufahamu wetu utafunguliwa kwa haraka kuingia huko. Hallelujah. 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 What we called my case is different. Cannot be experienced without empowerment. Tunachosema swala langu ni tofauti huwezi kuliona au kulipata mpaka uwe umevikwa uweza au nguvu. We belong to a kingdom of power. Tuko katika ufalme wa nguvu. That makes power available for us. Ambao unafanya nguvu iwe tayari kwa ajili yetu. To live a life that makes our case different. Tuishi maisha yatakayofanya maswala yetu kwa tofauti. It is power. Ni nguvu. It is power that makes somebody live in health. Nguvu ndio inaweza kumfanya mtu aishi katika afya. When our faith is released. Imani yetu inapoachiliwa. The power to make it work is automatically following it nguvu ya kutendea kazi inaambatana nayo when jesus saw that woman yesu alipomuona ile mama in the book of luke chapter 13 luka 13 she had been bowed down for 18 years alikuwa amefungwa na kuinamishwa kwa miaka 18 it was the answer of power ilikuwa ni jibu la nguvu that made her to become straight again ile mfanya aweze kunyoka tena he said ought not this woman this daughter of abraham whom satan had bowed Low this 18 years. Anasema, been loose from my infirmity. Je, mwanamke huyu ambaye shetani amemfunga kwa miaka 18 haruhusiwi kufunguliwa kutoka katika udhaifu? Satan bound her. 
Shetani alimfunga. For Christ came to lose her. Lakini Kristo alikuja kumfungua. And he has made that power available to us. Na hiyo nguvu kwa ajili yetu. First Corinthians chapter 4 verse 20 says. Wa Korintho wa kwanza 4:20 anasema. The kingdom of God is not in word but in power. Ufalme wa Mungu sio katika maneno bali ni katika nguvu. The nguvu. kingdom you and I belong to. Ule ufalme ambao mimi na wewe tuko. It is a kingdom of power. Ni ufalme wa nguvu. For the kingdom of God is not in word but in power. Maana ufalme wa Mungu hauwi katika neno bali katika nguvu. And that power manifests in many ways. Na hiyo nguvu inadhihirika kwa namna mbalimbali. It manifests for us to be in dominion. Inadhihirika ili tuweze kutawala. For us to walk in prosperity. Ili tutembee katika mafanikio. Financial prosperity. Mafanikio ya kifedha. That power answers for us. Hiyo nguvu inajibu kwetu. To enjoy breakthroughs. Ili tufurahie mipenyo. That power makes us to take full charge. Hiyo nguvu inatufanya sisi tutawala. In the affairs of life. Katika mambo ya maisha. Hallelujah. 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 God wants that power to be manifested in our lives. Mungu anataka hiyo nguvu idhirike kwenye maisha yetu. If you read in the book of Revelation. Kitabu cha ufunuo kisoma. What the power can do. Kile ambacho nguvu ina inawezo kufanya. What that power can do Revelation chapter 5 verse 12. Ufunuo 5:12. He says saying with a loud voice, "Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing." Salo 12 anasema wakisema kwa sauti kuu, "Asaili mwana kondoo aliyechinjwa kupokea uweza na utajiri." na hekima na nguvu na heshima na utukufu na baraka it's a spiritual power ni nguvu za kiroho that is meant for you and i ndio zimekusudiwa kwa ajili yako na yangu but it must manifest on the earth lakini lazima zidhihirike hapa duniani hallelujah hallelujah it must manifest on the earth lazima idhihirike duniani jesus was never in shortage of anything yesu hakuwahi kupungukiwa chochote because the power to make it available He's there. Kwa sababu nguvu ya kuwezesha ya wepo ili kuwepo. He was not supposed to pay tribute. Hakutakiwa kulipa kodi. Yeah, they came to collect. Lakini bado walikuja kwake kuchukua. And he told Peter. Akamwambia Petro. He said go to the sea. Kaambia nenda baharini. Cast the net. Tupanyavu. When the first fish that comes out. Samaki wa kwanza. When you throw the hook. Utakapotupa ndoano. Open the mouth. You will see what they are looking for. Give it Samaki to them. Samaki wa kwanza fungua mdomo wake ndani yake kuna pesa Jesus is never in short of anything anytime Yesu hakuwahi pungukiwa chochote wakati wowote That is the power God wants to make available for Hiyo us Hiyo ndio nguvu ambayo Mungu anataka aiweke tayari kwa ajili yako na yangu And in the world of today Na katika ulimwengu wa leo The thing we call power Vile vitu tunavyoviita nguvu you can see manifesting in four major areas. Unaweza ukaviona vikidhihirika katika maeneo makubwa manne Power sits in on four legs Hiyo nguvu inakalia miguu minne. Your spiritual power or what is called your faith. Nguvu yako ya kiroho au imani. It must produce in what is called political power. Lazima ikuletee matokeo au izae nguvu ya kisiasa. Power that make you relevant in the nation where you are. Nguvu itakayokufanya wewe uwe wa muhimu kwenye taifa ambalo uko. It must manifest for you economically financial power pia lazima idhihirike kifedha au kiuchumi capital lazima uwe mkuu kiuchumi and then apaya socially social culturally kijamii pia you are not a mean man unakuwa sio mdogo hallelujah hallelujah so that is the true meaning of you having power hiyo ndio maana halisi ya wewe kuweza kusema unayo nguvu when they are talking about who is who you will be mentioned. When they are talking about who can call upon God and he will answer. You are there. Nani anamuomba Mungu na Mungu anajibu upo. When they are talking about financial capability, you didn't steal the money but you have more than enough. Wanapozungumzia mwenye uwezo kifedha sio kwamba umeiba wewe upo unazo zaidi ya utoshelevu. God wants every spiritual power Mungu anataka kila nguvu ya kiroho that is answering for us ambaye inajibu kwetu must be made manifest idhihirike pia in every aspect of our lives katika kila nyanja za maisha yetu from today na kuanzia leo you will not be found hiding 
hautakutwa uliyojificha where your peers are shining wakati wenzako wanangaa you didn't say amen hujasema amen you will not be find found hiding when your peers are shining wewe hautakuwa mafichoni wakati wenzako wanangaa when you are shining Unapongaa. You will find out that those who are supposed to be your peers they have not gotten to that level. Utagundua kwamba wale ambao ni warika lako wenzako hawajafika kiwango wewe ulicho. If you believe she amen. Kama una amen paza amen. So the word of the, the from the word of God Kutoka the kwenye, kingdom of God is in power. Kutoka kwenye neno la Mungu ufalme wa Mungu uko katika nguvu. And these 21 days. Na hizi siku 21 in praying and fasting katika kufunga na kuomba to launch us into higher realms of power zimekusudiwa kutuingiza katika kiwango cha juu cha nguvu also enjoy the release of god's power ili tuweze kufurahia mwachilio wa nguvu ya Mungu haleluya haleluya in the scripture in new testament kwenye agano jipya four levels of power can be identified viwango vinne vya nguvu ambavyo tunaweza kuvitambua the number one is power cha kwanza ni nguvu Luke chapter 24 verse 49 Luka 24:49 Jesus has promised a very important power or the coming the promise of the spirit Yesu aliahidi kwamba ajapo roho mtakatifu kutakuwa na ujio wa nguvu That is coming from the Father ambaye inakuja kutoka kwa Baba So tarry ye in Jerusalem until ye be endued the power from on high Natazama na waletea juu yenu ahadi ya baba yangu lakini kaeni humu mjini hata mvikwe uwezo utokao juu au kwa namna nyingine nguvu itokayo juu They must prepare for the power Lazima jiandae kwa ajili ya nguvu When the power is released na nguvu ikishaachiliwa You shall receive power Anasema nanyi mtapokea nguvu You will be witnesses unto me Ya kuwa mashahidi wangu From Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria and the uttermost parts of the Jerusalem Judea na kila mahali Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Matendo 1:8. Luke chapter 4 verse 14. Luka 4:14. The Bible also said. Pia Biblia inasema. Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. Yesu alirudi katika nguvu za roho. And his faith went abroad the whole region. Na umaarufu wake ukaenea kila mahali. He returned in the power of the Spirit. Alirudi katika nguvu za roho. How? Vipi? After he has waited in fasting and praying. Baada ya kungoja na kufunga na kuomba. Because prayer and fasting has the power to unlock impossible doors. Kwa sababu maombi na kufunga vina uwezo wa kufungua milango isiyowezekana. To break every yoke. Kuvunja kila nira. To undo the heavy burdens. Kuondoa mizigo mizito. To let the oppressed go free. Kuwaruhusu au kuwaachia wale walio wamefungwa wafunguliwe. It is there in Isaiah 58 verse 6. Iko kwenye Isaya 58:6. Number two level great power. Kiwango cha pili cha nguvu ni nguvu kuu. Acts chapter 4 verse 3. Matendo 4:33. With great power. The witness. The resurrection of the Lord and great grace was upon them all. Na mitume wakatoa ushuhuda kwa kufuka kwake Yesu kwa nguvu nyingi na kwa neema nyingi ikawa juu ya wote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And with great power I gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all. You can see that. Power. Mwanza kuona nguvu. This time around it is not great power. Wakati huu sasa ni nguvu Making nyingi. Making great grace available unto all of them. Neema nyingi iwe tayari so kwa ajili yao. So the more we grow in power Kadiri tunavyokuwa katika nguvu the more we are growing in grace. Ndivyo tunavyoongezeka katika neema. The more you are growing trying to grow in grace. Kadiri unavyoongezeka katika neema the more you will be growing in power. Ndivyo unavyoongezeka katika nguvu. They go together. Vyote vinaenda sambamba. An engraced man is an empowered man. Mtu aliyevikwa neema ni mtu mwenye uweza au nguvu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grace is free but grace is not cheap. Nema ni bure lakini nema sio rahisi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is just the truth. Huo ndio kweli. They grew in, they gave it what it took. Walitoa kile kilichohitajika. They deprived themselves of food and comfort. 
walijitenga na chakula na kila raha they came together to a place waliungana pamoja sehemu and began to call upon the lord wakaanza kumuita bwana with a mindset that until god answers we won't leave this place wakiwa na nia kwamba mpaka mungu atakapotujibu vinginevyo hatuondoki and i was at the place was shaking together na biblia inasema pale mahali pakatikisika wow. the power of god came again kwa nini nguvu ya mungu ilishuka this time around wakati huu they are the level is more than what came on the day of pentecost kiwango chao kilikuwa ni kikubwa kuliko walichopokea siku ya pentecost hallelujah hallelujah look chapter 9 verse 43 look at this albana 3 look 943 look at this albana 3 see what power did is and they were all amazed at the mighty power of god wote wakashangaa wakiona ukuu wa Mungu that is great power also hiyo ni nguvu kuu ikidhihirika something has just happened kitu kimetokea the young boy was healed he was delivered from all the various ways satan has manipulated his life huyo kijana aliponywa na kila namna ya mabaya yaliyokuwa yametia mayoi shika maisha yake they have never seen such a thing before wakawa wanashangaa kwamba hawajawahi kuona kitu cha jinsi hiyo then we have number three, exceeding great power na namba tatu tunayo nguvu nyingi sana au uweza mkuu exceeding great power nguvu nyingi sana au uweza mkuu Ephesians chapter 1 verse 19 to 20 wa Efeso 1:19 20 have we said god has made such power available to us ephesians 1:19 to 20 and what is, the, what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us what we believe according to the working of his mighty power which he wrought in christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places na ubora wa ukuu wa uweza wake ndani yetu tuaminio jinsi ulivyo kwa kadiri ya utendaji wa nguvu za uweza wake that power is for us it said to us what toward us hiyo nguvu au uweza ni kwa ajili yetu the same power nguvu hiyo hiyo that raised jesus from the dead iliyo mfufuo yesu kutoka wafu he couldn't be kept there for three full days hakuweza kukaa kule siku tatu that same power God made available for us. Nguvu hiyo hiyo Mungu ameweka tayari kwa ajili yetu. To make use of. Ili kuitumia vema. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 say. Wanaume 8:11 If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies Laki, by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Lakini ikiwa roho yake yeye aliyemfufua Yesu katika wafu anakaa ndani yenu yeye alimfufua Kristo Yesu katika wafu atahuisha mili yenu iliyo katika hali ya kufa kwa roho wake anayekaa ndani yenu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God is able to do that. Mungu ana uwezo wa kufanya hivyo. We are able to draw it not just only by faith but by prayer and fasting. Tuna uwezo wa kupokea hiyo nguvu sio tu kwa imani bali kwa kufunga na kuomba. There are some levels of power or empowerment kuna viwango au vi, kuna viwango vya uweza au uwezesho we make the three forces combined ambavyo vinafanya nguvu zote tatu pamoja faith prayer and fasting imani maombi na kufunga there are three four cords that cannot be broken ni ni kama nyuzi tatu ambazo au vitu vitatu ambavyo viwezi kuharibiwa kiraisi haleluya haleluya the spirit of christ yule roho wa Kristo that raised up Christ just from the dead yule aliyemfufua Kristo toka wafu will manifest in your life beginning from today atadhihirika maishani mwako kuanzia leo it will manifest in your life beginning from today atadhihirika maishani mwako kuanzia leo then we have number 4 ne the power of the world to come nguvu za ulimwengu ujao the power of the world to come nguvu za ulimwengu ujao the world to come is a world that is referred to as heaven Ulimwengu ujao ni kama vile unajulikana kama mbinguni. And God wants us to experience heaven here on earth. Na Mungu anataka sisi tuione mbingu tukiwa hapa duniani. He wants us because by the redemption we have in Christ Jesus. Kwa ukombozi tulionao katika Kristo Yesu. Eternal life has started. Uzima wa milele umeshaanza. The kind of life, heavenly life. Aina ya uzima wa mbinguni. Has started 
for us here on this physical world. Umeanza kwa ajili yetu hapa duniani. Faith we make use of is what is made use of in heaven. Imani itafanya kile kinachotumika mbinguni kitumike hapa. These are forces. Hizi ni nguvu. That we make heaven a reality for us on the earth. Ambazo zitafanya mbingu kuwa halisi hapa duniani. It will draw the power of the world to come to happen for us now. Itavuta za nguvu za ulimwengu ujao iwe tayari kwa ajili yetu hapa. If you believe say aloud amen. Kwaza amen. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 5. Webrania 6:5 And I've tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. Who are the people that have tasted it? The apostles. Webrania 6:5 They have walked with Jesus. Anasema na kulionja neno zuri la Mungu na nguvu za zamani zijazo. Akina nani hao walionja ni mitume wale waliokuwa pamoja na Yesu. They have tasted it. Walionja. They and they are still living in it. Na bado wanaishi katika so hilo. It is not just only for tasting. Na sio tu kuonja. It is for experience. Ni kwa ajili ya kuona. We will walk in that power in Jesus name. Tutatembea katika hiyo nguvu katika jina la Yesu. We have our own part. Lakini tuna sehemu yetu. How can somebody walk in power? Inawezekanaje mtu akatembea katika nguvu? Without a test and a hunger for it. Pasipo kuwa na kiu na njaa kwa ajili hiyo. Without giving it what it takes. Pasipo kutoa yale inayohitajika. Fasting and prayer is one of the things it takes. Kufunga na maombi ndicho kinachohitajika. Bind with your faith. Ukiunganisha na imani yako. Only the one who fasts will enjoy the benefits of the fasting. Ni wale wanaofunga ndio watafurahia baraka au faida za kufunga. Even if 100 people fast for you. Hata kama watu 100 wakikufungia. You will not enjoy 1 over 10 of what is in it. Huwezi kufurahia hata 100% ya 10 kati ya zile faida. You must fast for yourself. Lazima ufunge mwenyewe binafsi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 5 verse 6. Ufunuo 5 6. He said and I beheld and lo in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. Nikaona katikati ya kile kiti cha enzi na wale wenye uhai wanne na katikati ya wale wazee mwana kondoo amesimama alikuwa kana kwamba amechinjwa mwenye pembe saba na macho saba ambazo ni roho saba za Mungu zilizotumwa katika dunia yote. They are sent forth into the earth for our benefit. Zimetumwa duniani kwa ajili ya kutufaidia sisi. The seven spirits of the Lord. Roho saba za Mungu. This is the truth. Satan is a spirit. Shetani ni roho. There is nobody who can fight and win a spirit if he doesn't have a higher spirit at work for him. Akuna mtu anaweza kupigana na roho na akaishinda kama hana roho yenye nguvu zaidi kuliko hiyo. And he's been on for thousands of years. Na amekuwa hivyo kwa maelfu ya miaka. With all his gimmicks and manipulations. Pamoja na hila zake zote. He knows how to fall a man. Anajua namna ya kumwangusha mtu. He knows the weaknesses of the man. Anajua udhaifu wa mwanadamu. But when you have the spirit of God working for you. Lakini ukiwa na roho wa Mungu anayetenda kazi ndani yako. You are able to overpower this, the devil with ease. Una uwezo wa kumshinda shetani kirahisi. The seven spirits of the Lord are sent forth into all the earth Ro for our aid. Roho saba za Mungu zimetumwa duniani kote kutusaidia sisi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that is just the solid truth. And it is there in Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. Isaiah 11 verse 2. The spirit of the Lord. The spirit of knowledge, wisdom, counsel, might. The fear of the Lord. And uh, let me remember the seventh one. So it is there in 11, Isaiah 11. We can look at it, verse 2. Isaiah 11, verse 2. The spirit of the Lord, the spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel, might, spirit of knowledge, and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Roya, kuna roo saba, roya buwana, roya ekima, roya ufahamu, roya ushauri, roya uweza, roya marifa, na roya kumcha buwana. They are meant for our perfection and dominion on the earth. Hizi zote zimekusudio kwa jiria 
kutukamilisha na utawala wetu hapa duniani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the wisdom of God will always answer for us from today. Na hekima ya Mungu siku zote itajibu kwetu kuanzia leo. The spirit of the Lord. The seven spirit of the Lord. Roho saba za Mungu is essentially wisdom. Zenyewe ni hekima. Hasa hasa kimsingi ni kwa ajili ya hekima. Because God put everything in place by wisdom. Kwa sababu Mungu aliweka kila kitu mahali pake kwa hekima. He wants us to also manifest his wisdom. Na anataka vivyo hivyo tudhihirishe hekima yake. So today, leo, gateways to operating in a different world. Njia tofauti tofauti au malango mengi yako mengi ya kukuingiza katika ulimwengu tofauti tofauti. This is part 1B. Hii ni sehemu ya kwanza B. And we are looking at what is called engaging the spirit of love. Na tunachokiangalia kimaalumu ni namna ya kutumia roho ya upendo. Don't forget. Sao. You want to live a different world. Unataka kuishi ulimwengu wa tofauti. You want to be exceptional. Unataka kuwa wa tofauti. Things going well for you. Mambo yaende vizuri kwako. You want to make impact. Unataka kuweka mguso. You must have the spirit of love at work in you. Lazima uwe na roho ya upendo inayotenda kazi ndani yako. We talk about the spirit of love. Just like we talk about the spirit of faith. There is a world of difference between operating in faith and operating in the spirit of faith. Kuna tofauti kubwa kati ya kutembea katika imani na kutendea katika roho ya imani. Or if you like, you say you have the gift of faith. Unaweza kusema una karama ya imani. Una karama ya imani au imani. The spirit of faith is a far higher level. Roho ya imani ina nguvu ina uweza zaidi. The spirit of faith does just only be, does just only believe. Roho ya imani sio tu kwamba inaamini. It speaks, it is acting. Inanena, inatenda. Very active. Inatenda. So also. Hivyo hivyo. The spirit of love. Roho ya upendo. It's not just to love. Sio tu kupenda. The spirit of love acts out the love. Roho ya upendo inatoa au inaom, inataka upendo. Many people they say they love. Watu wengi wanasema wana upendo. They say they have compassion. Nasema wana huruma. But they didn't show it. Lakini hawaonyeshi. Real compassion. Huruma ya kweli. It go beyond sympathy. Ni zaidi ya kumuonea mtu na kumhurumia. Empathy. Tunafika mahali sio tu huruma lakini unakuwa kana kwamba ile shida ni yako sio tu naishia pole maneno ya mdomo pole you are touched to the extent you are looking for what can i do now because you are taking yourself as if you are the one suffering this problem hiyo inakuwa ni umeguswa kiasi ambacho kinachompata huyo ndugu ni kana kwamba ni wewe you go into action unaingia katika kutenda to turn the sorrow into joy kugeuza ile huzuni kwa furaha. So what are we saying? Tunachosema ni nini? That is what Jesus was involved in. Hicho ndicho Yesu alichokuwa anakishughulikia. So Jesus wants us to walk in love. Yesu anataka sisi tutembee katika upendo. He wants the spirit of love to manifest in us. Anataka roho ya upendo ionekane ndani yetu. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. Wakorintho wa kwanza 2:9. He said, but as it is written, kama ilivyoandikwa, I had not seen jicho halijaona yeye at no head sikio halijasikia wala kuingia katika moyo wa yeyote the things which god has prepared for them that love him yale ambayo mungu amewaandalia wampendao the things which god has prepared for them that love him mambo ambayo mungu amewaandalia wampendao the things which god has prepared for them that love him yale ambayo mungu amewaandalia wampendao let me tell you something kwani kwambie kitu if you are a lover of god kama wewe kweli unampenda mungu if you are genuinely engrossed in the love of God to do God's will to please God to just be where God wants all you for you to be in obedience Kama wewe unampenda Mungu kweli unayashika na yosema upo Mungu anapotaka uwe unafanya yote anayeagiza umtii When evil happen to you Mabaya yanapokutokea wewe it is well Ni heri When good happen to you Mema anapokutokea wewe Niheri. And I will explain myself. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says. Warumi nane, shina nane nasema, and we know. Nasi tuajua, that all things. Ya kwamba vitu vyote. How many things? Yote. All things. Yote. Work together for good. Kutendeka kwa wema. To them that love God. Kwa wawo wa mpenda wa mwa. To them who are the call according to his purpose. Kwa wawo wa liyo ito sasa na kusigilako. And we know. Sote tuajua. 
If good thing happen to a bad man, he rejoices. He bad thing happens to him. He breaks down, he loses hope. That is not the one for the child of God. And we know why. Because God, where your faith is in place, with understanding, it will bring glory out of that shame. Hallelujah. And we know that all things it didn't say many things it didn't say most things all things God knows how to help his own even when the enemy want to make them to be in sorrow all things work together for good it is that understanding and the beaming of that light into Apostle Paul that made him to say and who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Who is it? What is it? He began to list it from Romans chapter 8 verse 35. What, how strong is that thing? How powerful is that force? So, child of God, know today nothing is strong enough to put you in a state of irrecoverable situation. When the love of God is in place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans 8, because of time, I will just read from verse everything. Let me just read from verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors, through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor past, nor things present, nor things to come, no height, no death, no any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Tetnatana wasema, ni nani atakaye tutenga na upendo wa Kristo? Jeni dhiki, au nishida, au adha, au njaa, au uchi, au hatari, au upanga. Kama ilivyo andikuwa kwamba, kwa ajili ya hayo, tunawawa mchana kutua. Tumehesabiwa ya kuwa kana kwamba kondoa kuchinjwa lakini katika mambo yote hayo tunashinda na zaidi ya kushinda katika yeye aliyetupenda kwa maana mekwisha kujua hakika ya kwamba wala mauti wala uzima wala malaika wala mwenye mamlaka wala yaliopo wala atakayokuwepo wala wenye uwezo wala yaliyo juu wala yaliyo chini wala viumbe kingine chochote Chote, hakita weza kututenga na upende wa mungu ulio katika kristo yesu wana wetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So to usher us into our inheritance. Kwa hiyo kutuingiza sisi katika urithi wetu. And possessing our possession. Na kumiliki miliki zetu. We cannot do without the spirit of love. Hatu wezi kufanya chochote pasipo roo ya upendo. And do you know what? Na unajua kitu? As you are preparing physically and spiritually. Wakati unajianda kimwili na kiroho. As God knows you want to embark on 21 days of prayer and fasting. Mungu anajua kwamba unataka kuanza mfungu wa siku 21. The devil also knows. Shetani naye anajua. And he's looking for how to distract you. Na anatafuta namna gani akuvuruge. How to hinder you. Namna akukuzuia. It will take the spirit of love. Itahitajika roho ya upendo. To be full of understanding and light. Ya kuwa na ufahamu na nuru and to overcome the wives of the wicked one. Nothing works without love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will not be known as a Christian or as a child of light if love is not in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God wants to, to be shining 
all the time. That's why he said in Matthew chapter 5. If you read from verse 43 to 45. Say it has been said. You will love your neighbor and hate your enemies. Anasema imesemekana kwamba umpende jirani yako na umchukie adui yako. But I say unto you. Lakini mimi nawaambia. Love your enemies. Pende adui yako. Do good to them who despitefully use you. Who hate you and despitefully use you. Uwatende mema wale wanaokuchukia wale wanaokufanyia mabaya. Because your father who is in heaven he makes his rain to fall upon the good and the evil. He causes his, his sun to shine on the good and the evil. He said that you may be the children of your father. That you may be the children of your father. Which is in heaven. And through this your love life. You will be able to draw the virtues of heaven down for you on earth. Hallelujah. See love is powerful. It is a test of Christianity. And your maturity. So that you may be. We will not know the genes. What make what makes you to resemble God is essentially in love. Kinacho kufanya wewe umfanane mungu ni upendo. The genes of your father. Vile vina saba vya baba yako. When they see you, they see. They say, yes, this is a Christian. Wanapo kuona wewe wanasema kueli huyu ni Christo. This is a child of light. Kueli huyu ni mwana wanuru. So you are the one responsible. Kwa wewe ndo na wajibika. To make the love of God. Manifest in your life. One of the things the spirit of love does. It empowers us to live in a different world. It empowers us to live in a different world. Hallelujah. I came across somebody many years ago. He is always cheerful. Siku zote na furaha. Whether he passes his exam well, whether he fails, you will not know. Ame fanya vizuri mtiani, ame shindua huta jua. If anything bad happens, you say, let's give God praise. Riki mtokia lolote baya, anakombetu mpe mungu sifa. Just as when good thing happens. Kama ambavyo, mema ki mtokia, anashukuru. I studied him for some years. Nili soma kwa miaka mingi. Till we parted. Mpaka tulipo wachana. I have never seen such a kind of person. Sijai kumuona mtu wa inaile. He is never troubled. When money is not in his hand, there is no food, he is full of life. When you are a child of light, nothing is supposed to move you. Hallelujah. Nothing is supposed to trouble you. The love of God. The spirit of love. Don't forget, they are not the same thing. The spirit of love is a higher level. The spirit of love is a functionality. The functioning. Love is just their identity. You say you are a Christian, you go to church. It's an identity. But you are living like a Christian. It's a higher level. That is the, that is the certification. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So identity is not the same thing as certification. There are many institutions. In this great city of Dar es Salaam. Many people mingle among people. Watu wengi wanajichanganya na wengi. But it is not everybody that come up with certificate. Lakini sio kila mtu anatoka na cheti. Is it true? Si ndio? Uh -huh. So when you are working, unapofanya you work it out in the spirit of love. Unapofanya kazi, unatendea kazi katika roho ya upendo. The Lord will give you understanding. Na Mungu atakupa uelewa. He makes us to it empowers us to live in a different world. Anatuwezesha au roho ya upendo inatuwezesha kuweza kutenda katika ulimwengu tofauti tofauti. I like to look at two powerful scriptures. Nataka niangalie maandiko mawili. 1 John chapter 4. Waraka wa kwanza Yohana 4. 1 John chapter 4 from verse 16. Waraka wa kwanza Yohana 4:16. First John 4, verse 16 to 17. And we have known and believed the love that 
God had to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God. And God in him. Hearing is our love made perfect. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Anasema, Nasi tumelifahamu pendo alilona lo mungu kutu sisi. Na kuriamini, mungu ni upendo nae akaa katika pendo. Nae akaa katika pendo hukanda ni ya mungu na mungu hukanda ni yake. Katika hili pendo limekamilisho kwetu ili tuwe na ujasiri katika siku ya ukumu ya kuwa. Kama yeye alivyo ndivyo tulivyo na sisi ulimwenguni humu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we shall appear before Christ, the confidence and boldness that come from the love of God will manifest in our lives in Jesus Because love of God makes you to have confidence. Please let me tell you. You will know whether you serve God and whether you are going to heaven if you are face to face with an accident. Unapokuwa ana kwa ana na ajali ndio utakapojua ukweli kama kweli are, unamtumikia Mungu au kweli unakwenda mbinguni. You are flying in the air. Uko juu kwenye and ndege. And they gave a terrifying news. Na wanatoa taarifa. And it looked like it will crash. Na inaonekana kana kwamba ndege inaanguka. The love that you have lived in Christ Jesus. Ni ule upendo ulioishi nao katika Kristo Yesu. That's the how confident you are. Hapo ndio utakao kuambia jinsi utakavyo kuonyesha Yesu ulivyo na ujasiri. That is just the solid truth. Ndio kweli ulivyo. Love is powerful. Upendo una nguvu. It's stronger than death. Una nguvu kuliko mauti. So I'd like you to know. Nataka ujue. All of us. Sote. According to Romans chapter 8 verse 35 to 39. Sawa sawa na Warumi 8:35 na 39. We must never permit anything to hinder our prayer from being answered. Hatupaswi kuruhusu chochote kizuie maombi yetu yasijibiwe katika majira. Anybody you need to forget, uh, forgive. Yeyote unayepaswa kumsamee, msamee. Anything you need to overlook, overlook it. Chochote ambacho unapaswa kukidharau na kukiacha, kiachie. It's a determination. Ni kudhamilia. Satan is out to hinder you. Shetani amekusudia kukuzuia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Satan will strike Job Shetani alipokuwa anataka kumpiga Ayubu. I want Job to turn to be an enemy of God. Na alikuwa anataka Ayubu ageuke awe adui wa Mungu. He began from the closest persons to him. Alianzia na mtu wa karibu sana na yeye. I said, "Cause God and die. Which Mke, kind of God is that?" Mkewe akamwambia Mungu wa aina gani huyo? Mlani Mungu tupe. His friends who were advising him wrongly. Marafiki zake pia alikuwa anamshauri vibaya. Satan doesn't look for people who are far from you to get you hindered. No. Shetani huwa hatumii watu wa mbali kukuzuia wewe. That's why the Bible said you have come to pray or to give thanks. You have come with a gift. Ndio maana Biblia inasema umekuja ibadani, umekuja kutoa sadaka. And you remember your brother has ought against you. Ukakumbuka una jambo, una kitu moyoni na mtu fulani. Go and settle with him. Iweke sadaka so yako. Both your you and your gift will be accepted. Nenda kapatane na huyo mtu kwanza ili wewe na sadaka yako muweze kukubalika kwa haleluya so what we talk about the spirit of love tunapozungumzia roho ya upendo it is more of acting Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. What we refer to as the spirit of love. Tunachokisemea kama roho ya upendo. It is acted out. Ni kitu kinachotendewa kazi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So go and make amends. Kwa hiyo nenda katengeneze. Another important scripture. Andiko lingine la muhimu. In the book of Ephesians chapter 3. Ah andiko ni wa Efeso 3. Ephesians chapter 3. Wa Efeso 3. Reading from verse 17 because of time 17 to 19 17 is that that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye be rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the 
breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ with passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Christo akai mioni mweno kwa imani mkiwa na shina la msingi katika upendo ili mpate kufahamu pamoja na watakatifu wote jinsi ulivyo upana na urefu na kimo na kina na kujua upendo wake Kristo upitao fahamu kwa jinsi ulivyo mwingi mpate kutimilika kwa utimilifu wote wa Mungu Hallelujah Hallelujah Are you hearing that Yesikia So the love test must be passed by every one of us before we are ushered into the fullness of God. Jaribio la upendo lazima kila mmoja wetu alipitie kabla hatujaingia katika utimilifu wa Kristo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let me tell you. Asa ngoja kuambia. According to some of them and some of the pictures we have seen. Some of the people have testified and some of the the uh, dramas we have seen. Kuna watu ambao wameshuhudia na kuna wengine tumeona. Those who are involved in like arm robbery. Wale ambao wa labda walikuwa majambazi. Occultism. Au walikuwa wachawi. And all such things. Na vitu kama hivyo. Before a new member is initiated. Kabla hawajamfundisha mwingine mgeni. Do you know what they do to him? Unajua wanachomfanyia? They give him all manner of test and that test is strength test. Wanampa kila namna ya majaribio na hayo majaribio yote yamekusudia kumuimarisha. They pass him through many things. Wanampitisha katika mengi. Dangerous things. Vitu vya hatari. Sometimes the day they are initiating him, they will hit him, they will they will almost make him half dead the way they will beat him. Na uenda unakuta kwa mfano ile siku ambayo wanataka sasa kumuingiza rasmi, wanaweza kampiga nusura ya kufa. Because they want to know can he stand the attack that will come from the outside Ye, world? Will he be strong to stay? Before we reveal all our secrets to him. And he begin to enjoy the benefits. In the, in, in the kingdom. Before all the benefits. Before all the virtues. Before you can be a commander in the supernatural. You must pass the love test. It is the strength test in the world of spirit. Lift up your right hand. I say, Father, I receive grace from you today. I receive strength from you today. To live in the spirit of love. Ya kuishi katika roho ya upendo. To be enabled. Ya kuwezeshwa. To manifest your love. Kuya kudhirisha upendo wako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Thank you Father Lord. Sante Baba. We are blessed in Jesus name. Tumebarikiwa katika jina la Yesu. There are many things we have we we can look at. Ya komengi ambayo tunaweza kuyatazama. I just give us a few before we round up now. Tupatia machache tu kabla tujamalizia. What is love in scriptural perspective? Katika mtazamo wa kimaandiko au kibiblia upendo ni nini? Love can be said to be having a kingdom priority lifestyle. Upendo ni ile hali tabia ya kuwa na kufanya mambo ya ufalme wa Mungu kuwa ndio kipaumbele. God first, Matthew 6:33. Kumweka Mungu kwanza. Seek first the kingdom Matthew of God. Matthew 6:33. And his righteousness. Kutafuta kwanza ufalme wa Mungu na haki yake. It is placing God above all else, including self. Every step in every decision to be taken. Your consideration is not for you, but for God first. How to please God, how to satisfy God first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I go back to 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4. And he said, we love him because he first loved us. 1 John chapter 4 verse 19. We, loved, we love him because he first loved us. 
Anasema sisi twapenda kwa maana yeye alitupenda sisi kwanza. We are expected to reciprocate that love. Kwa hiyo upendo unapaswa kuwa wa namna ya kutoa na kupokea. God is enabling us today in Jesus name. Mungu anatuwezesha hilo katika siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu. Luke chapter 6 verse 40 says the disciple is not above his master but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. Luka 6 Albaini anasema mwanafunzi hawe mkuu kuliko mwalimu wake lakini kila mtu ambaye amehitimu kulingana na mwalimu kwa kulingana na mwalimu wake Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is possible to love God Kwa hiyo inawezekana kumpenda Mungu and demonstrate it in all things first Na kudhihirika katika mambo yote It is also loving what God loves Pia ni kupenda yale ambayo Mungu anayapenda We are expected to love what God loves Tunatarajiwa kupenda kile ambacho Mungu anakipenda Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the proof that we love God. Huyo ndio uthibitisho kwamba tunampenda Mungu. What is it that God loves? God loves us the most. Na nini ni hicho ambacho Mungu anakipenda zaidi? Mungu anapenda nafsi. He does not want them to perish. Mungu hataki watu waangamie. I want to read Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. Petro 2, 3, 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us all not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance Petro 2:39 Nasema Bwana hakawii kuitimiza ahadi yake kama wengine wanavyokudhania kukawia bali huvukuvumilia kwenu maana hapendi mtu yote apotee bali wote waifikie toba Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So people of God. Love is powerful. Upendo na nguvu. What virtue can we find in love? Ni nguvu gani au vitu gani vya muhimu tunaweza kupata katika upendo? Many virtues. Ziko nguvu nyingi. One of some virtue is that love makes us indestructible. Moja upendo unatufanya sisi tusio haribika. Nothing can destroy us. Hakuna cha kutuharibu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing can destroy your first John chapter 4 verse 16 to 18. Waraka wa kwanza Yohana 4 16 to Because God is love. Kwa sababu Mungu ni upendo. Nothing can destroy God. Hakuna kinachoweza kumharibu Mungu. When you are taken by the spirit of love. Na unapokuwa umejazwa na roho ya upendo. You are indestructible. Unakuwa ni usiyeharibiwa. First John chapter 4 verse 4. Waraka wa kwanza Yohana 4 4. He said I have overcome the little children. Anasema nimeushinda ulimwengu enyi watoto wadogo. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Kwa kuwa ni mkuu aliye ndani yenu kuliko yule aliye katika dunia hii. Love makes you to overcome things that are referred to as impossible. Upendo unakufanya wewe ujulikane na kuyafanya yale ambayo yanasemekana hayawezekani. Another thing is that love is a failure proof force. Kitu kingine ni kwamba upendo ni nguvu ambayo inakuzuia usishindwe. You will never fail because Love is at work in your life. Uweze kushindwa kwa sababu upendo unafanya kazi maisha ni mwako. First Corinthians 13 verse 8. Waraka wa kwanza, uh, Corinthians wa kwanza kumina tatu nane. First Corinthians 13 verse 8. Kumina tatu nane. Love never faileth. Upendo haushindwe. Love never faileth. Upendo haushindwe. Love never faileth. Upendo haushindwe. Every other thing will fail. Kila kitu kingine kita shindwa. Prophecies will fail. Nabi ita shindwa. And so on and so forth. Na kathalika na kathalika. But love can never fail. Lakini upendo hao shindwi. So, to love God, to love what God loves, what do we mean? Tunaposema kupenda kile ambacho mungu na kipenda, tunamanisha nini? To love what God loves. We have said God loves souls the most. Tumesema mungu anapenda sana nafsi. You must love to seek souls to be saved. Lazima upende kwa kutafuta watu wa ukoke and for Christ to be formed in them na ili Kristo aumbike ndani yao you must love to have prayers continuously lazima upende kuomba kwa kuendelea for souls to be saved ili nafsi ziweze kuokoka those are the things hivyo ndio vitu and the word of god said Neno wa Mungu nasema we make those who do this to shine like stars forever. Atawafanya hao wanaofanya haya wangae kama nyota milele. The generation also will not know darkness. Na vizazi vyao pia havitajua giza. That will be our lot in Jesus name. Na hiyo ndio itakuwa fungu letu katika jina. And as you round up right now. Napomalizia. We must remember that it will always require a panting of our soul and a longing of our flesh to be empowered with the spirit of love. Inaitajika kiu 
na njaa ya mwili na roho zetu katika kutaka kufanya au kumpenda Mungu. Ili tuweze kujazwa na roho ya upendo. Lazima uitamani. Lazima uwe na kiu nayo. Lazima uwe na njaa nayo. God wants us to have some people give powerful testimonies. They said they have seen God servant the way he loves God and give sacrifice. Father, I am connecting to this kind of love to love the kingdom to do and the the family experience a total turnaround. Kuna familia moja ambao walitoa ushuhuda wakasema waliona jinsi ambavyo askofu wanavyompenda Mungu wakatoa dhabiu wakiwa wanatoa ile dhabiu wakimwambia Mungu wanataka aina ile ya upendo jinsi ambavyo mtumishi wa Mungu anavyompenda Mungu na wao wameanza kuona mgeuko kwa na, na shuhuda nyingi za kustaajabisha. It was a big sacrifice the lady gave. Ilikuwa ni dhabiu kubwa ambayo yule mwanamke alitoa. She closed down her account. Alitoa kila kitu alichokuwa nacho kama akiba. But what God gave her in return. Lakini kile Mungu alichomrudishia. Was far bigger. Kilikuwa ni kikubwa kuliko. She got a bigger she gave 3 million. Alitoa milioni tatu. But somebody came to give her 28 million business. Mtu alikuja akampa biashara ya milioni 28. Another favor of a gas plant came for her family. Na pia wakaweza kupata mgodi wa gesi. So you cannot beat God in this love world. Uwezi kumshinda Mungu katika zoezi hili la upendo. Tell your neighbor. Mwambie jirani yako. Be baptized with the spirit of love. Ubatizwe na roho ya upendo. You can't beat God to it. Uwezi kumshinda Mungu kwa hilo. You become the better for it. Utakuwa bora kwa hilo. Tell the other person you become the better for it. Mwambie na mwingine utakuwa bora kwa hilo. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Where you are lift up your right hand. Ulipo inua mkono wako kulia. begin to receive grace. Anza kupokea neema. All that we have been talking. Yote ambayo tumezungumzia. We can't do it in the energy of the flesh. Hatuwezi kufanya kwa nguvu za mwili. That's why the Lord said in his word. Maana Bwana akasema kwenye neno lake. It is not by my but by power, not by power. Sio kwa nguvu wala kwa uwezo. But by my spirit. Bali ni kwa roho wangu. It will take the help of the Holy Spirit. Itahitajika msaada wa Roho Mtakatifu. To walk in the spirit of love. Ili uweze kutembea katika roho ya upendo. It will take the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Itahitajika uwezesho wa Roho Mtakatifu. to manifest in the spirit of faith. Ili kuweza kudhihirisha katika roho ya upendo. Receive grace now. Pokea neema sasa. Father I receive grace from you. Baba napokea neema kutoka kwako. This shall be the greatest year in my life. Huu utakuwa ni mwaka bora kuliko. I will never allow any distraction. Sitaruhusu uharibifu au usumbufu. Anybody can say what he likes to say. Yeyote aseme atakacho. Anybody can do what he likes to do. Kila mtu afanye anachotaka. Father Lord. Baba I will not be hindered from my miracle. Sita I refuse to be distracted. I refuse to be a victim. In the name of Jesus. Father, I receive your grace now. I receive grace for focus. I receive grace from uncommon focus. I receive grace, O oh Lord. To wait on you successfully. Having amazing results to show for it. Having amazing results to show for it. This shall surely be the greatest year in my life. I'm taking charge of my 2017. Your name shall be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. If you believe, shout a loud amen. Hallelujah. You can't beat God. In the love walk, you can't beat God. Katika ulimwengu wa upendo, wazi kumshinda mungu. When you move forward a little, ukiendelea mbele kidogo, God will promote you more than you expect. Mungu ata kuinua kuliko unavotarajia. The grace has been released. Neema imeachiliwa. None of us will fail. Hakuna taka ishindwa. In Jesus' name. Katika jina la Yesu. There are people here this morning. Kuna watu hapa subu ya leo. Before we partake of the body and blood of Jesus. Kabla hatuja shiriki muli na dami ya Yesu. You must be saved. Lazima uokoke. That's why the Lord brought you. And you are privileged to hear the word of life. It is the love of God that brought you. It is also by the love of God you become saved. Without wasting any time again this morning. Because of other important activities we have today. You want Jesus to take over your life. This is a brand new year. This is a year pregnant of wonderful things. None of us must miss the opportunity the Lord has laid before us. It begins with 
the right work. So wherever you are now, you are saying yes to Jesus. I surrender to you. Lift up your right hand. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You are lifting it up, lift it up very well. God bless you. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. Upstairs and downstairs on the floor, you are lifting up your hand for Jesus. I want you to take a step of faith and come forward because you mean the business. You mean business with Jesus. God bless you. Let the friends around them help them, their neighbors help them to come forward. God bless you. Jesus is here waiting for you. Some people that they want to rededicate their life to Jesus. But they don't know how. You have been born again before. But you change and went the wrong way. You have even given up, but God has not given up on you. Wherever you are now, you can come forward. The Father wants to welcome you back home. Please begin to come. God bless you. I want you to rise up from where you are. Begin to, you are. begin to come forward. Begin to come. Begin to come. Put your hands together for them. Begin to come wherever you are. The Father is calling you back home. He wants to receive you back. As the prodigal son was welcomed back by the father. Praise the name of Jesus. So the people in front, with your eyes closed, lift up your right hand to Jesus. And begin to say after me. Lord Jesus, I believe you died for my sin. That third day you rose again for my justification. Siku ya tatu ukafufuka na kuniyesabia haki. Right now, sasa hivi, I believe I'm washed by your blood. Na amini ni meosho kwa dami yako. Come into my heart. Ingi ya moyo ni mwangu. And be my Lord and Savior. Na uwe buwana na mwokozu wangu. Right now, sasa hivi, I believe, na amini, I am born again. Ni meokoka. I will serve the living God. Amen. Amen. Congratulations to you all. Sana. This is the greatest decision any man can take in this life. And you will be the better for it all your life. The people of God want to pray for you now. Watu wa Mungu anataka kuombea wewe sasa. Beloved, let's stretch our hands to this precious soul. Pendo tunyoshe mikono kuelekea. Pray for them from our heart. Na tuwaombe toka moyoni. This decision they have taken. Maamuzi hayo waliyofanya. That the Lord will enable, empower and grace them. Mungu atawawezesha. To live with it all their lives. Na kuwapa neema waishi nayo siku zote za maisha. 
katika ushindi upande with testimonies wakidumu katika shuhuda miracle signs and wonders miujiza ishara na maajabu in jesus mighty name katika jina la yesu in jesus mighty name katika jina la yesu thank you lord asante bwana you are blessed mebarikiwa you are blessed in the name of jesus mebarikiwa katika jina la yesu the hand of the lord will never depart from you kono wa mungu hautaondoka kwenu satan Give up on this one in Jesus name. Ondoa mikono yako juu ya hawa. Take off your hands from their life. Ondoa mikono yako juu ya hawa. They belong to you no more. Hawa sio wako tena. They belong to the Lord Jesus. Hawa ni wa Bwana Yesu. Thank you Lord. Asante Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can open your eyes. Fungua macho yako. Look up now and see can you see the man of God waiting for you? Let's follow him. God bless you. Put your hands together for them people of God. Wapigie makofi. Put your hands together for them. Wapigie makofi. Shortly we'll be partaking of body and blood of Jesus. But I'd like to quickly tell us some important things. God revealed things to us according to our level. And even at that, whatever he decides to reveal to us is what he will reveal to us. Chochote anachoamua yeye kutufunulia ndicho anachotufunulia. According as God has revealed to his servant Bishop Oyedepo. Kwa kadiri Mungu alivyomfunulia mtumishi wake Askofu Oyedepo. We had Shilo. We had Shilo 2016. Katika Shilo 2016 tulikuwa nayo. We had the crossover night. Na pia tulikuwa na mkesha. And also yesterday mwaka. early morning. Na pia jana tulikuwa na ibada. We had the leadership empowerment summit. Tulikuwa na mkutano wa viongozi. And we were specially impacted. Na tuliweingizwa nguvu kimaalum kabisa. And in all. Na katika vyote hivi what have been mo mostly mentioned and dwelt upon is obedience. Kitu ambacho kilitajwa sana katika matukio matatu the whole of Shiloh 2016 was obedience. Shiloh yote fmina kumina sita alikuwa kisitiza uti. When we are having crossover service to 2016, tulipo kwa na ibada ya kufuka mwaka fmina kumina sita kwenye kwa 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 it was obedience. Because only the obedient will eat the fruit of the land. Is that if you are willing and obedient, it's a combination. And it works together. There are some things, whether in the bank or the one you have in your home or in the office, that is called safe vault. It has what is called combination lock. You open it by a combination. You lock it by a combination. Anyone who doesn't have those secrets can never open it. Kuna vitu fulani kama vile safe za kuwekea hela kwa ajili ya usalama, ah uh, na kuwe na namba ambazo unatumia namba kufunga na unatumia namba kufungua pia. To unlock the blessings that is already available for you. Kufungua baraka ambazo ziko tayari kwa ajili yako. It's a combination. Ni muunganiko. The combination of not just being willing, but you must be obedient. Munganiko wa kwamba sio tu unataka au kotayari bali uti. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord will give us understanding. Na mungu wa tupe ufahamu. We have received a lot of things this morning. Tumepokia mengi ya subi ya leo. Now we are about to partake of the body and blood of Jesus. Sasa tunakuenda kushiriki mwini na Daniel. You know what to pray now. Unajua cha kuomba sasa. I'd like you to rise up on your feet. Nataka usimame. And stretch forth your hands to the body and blood of Jesus. Nyosha mikono kuelekia mwini na Daniel. What are you drawing from this today? Ninini unataka upoke. What am I drawing from this? Ninini unataka upoke. What am I taking from this today? Ninini unachotaka upoke. If it is the spirit of obedience, Kama ni roya uti. if it is the spirit of love, Kama ni roya upendo. Lord, what will make me not to miss my inheritance? Buana, kile kita kacho ni fanya mi ni siko se uriwa. Lord, that will make me to possess my possession. Yo, te vita kave ni fanya mi ni miliki miliki zamu. Spiritual sensitivity. Umaki ni kiroho. Spiritual alertness. Umaki ni kiroho. Being submissive. Kuamti. Being obedient. Lord, Buana. I receive your help. Na poki msaada. Possessing the mind of Christ. The mind of wisdom, the mind of dominion. I receive it now. Talk to the Lord. Take your portion. This year is loaded. My case is different. It answers to power. Father, the divine power. 
the divine enabling that will make my case different that will make me to be distinguished for the better throughout this year and beyond let me never miss it as I partake of this miracle meal now I access it fully in Jesus name Father we thank you we give you all the praise together as a spiritual house with faith with joy and thanks in our hearts we lift up this body and blood of Jesus unto you Father sanctify and bless it for us let it answer for us at the very body and blood of Jesus bringing about total healing and deliverance total transformation and transfiguration let this body and blood of Jesus turn every desire every expectation to testimonies in our lives today let none of us return from here empty handed let every defeat we have suffered let it be terminated here and now as we partake this miracle meal the children of Israel they were ushered out of bondage into their promised land the Bible says there was no feeble among them they went from place to place from nation and to another one and he suffered no man to do them wrong this shall be a year that is free of wrongs for us. This shall be an error-free year for us. This shall be a year of overcoming and walking dominion for us. As we partake of this miracle meal, let it answer for us beyond our let all glory go unto you. We we'll receive it done now. In Jesus' mighty name. If you believe, please shout a louder amen. Another louder amen. amen. Thank you, Father, because it is done. In Jesus' name. As we partake, the choir is leading us in a song.
And begin to thank him for all the virtues that have been deposited in you. By virtue of partaking of this body and blood of Jesus. The virtues that will make you hear the voice of God. That will make you to walk in his wisdom that is made from winning. Every good thing that he has reserved for you in 2017. No will be denied. 
Hakuna hata kimoja atakachojua. Father, thank you for the release of wisdom. Baba, tunakushukuru kwa jambo hili. For the release of your favor. Mwachiliwe wa kibaya. For the release of grace and strength. Mwachiliwe wa neema na nguvu. To seek your face. Wa kutafuta uso wako. And have you what to show for it. Na kuwa tunacho kuonyesha. Father, thank you for the release of divine ideas. Baba, tunakushukuru kwa mwachiliwe wa mawazo ya Kiungu. Thank you for encounter with heavenly vision. Asante kwa kutana maoni ya Mungu. Father, thank you, Lord. Asante, Baba. For strength for strength to carry me through. For strength to take charge of my 2017. In the name of Jesus. Thank you because it is done. Glory unto you. Hallelujah. It is done. Please take your seat. Jesus is Lord. We will be closing shortly.